It's what's in the bag video time. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Paddy Talks Golf. Hit that subscribe button down there. So over the past period, I don't know, couple of years, uh, a question I've been asked a lot on social media at paddytalksgolf.com is what's in my bag. So let's start that groovy jazz music now. The bag itself is new acquisition in 2023. It's a Sirixon Golf Masters Edition Tour Bag. Yeah, just like the one Shane Lowry had used. So got that in Cunningham's Golf Store in Galway City. Great stuff up there. It's actually where I got my first set of golf clubs way back in the day. I love it. It's big enough to carry all the camera gear. So I generally have <laughs> the full works. Drone, this camera here, 70 to 200 lens there. So if you're interested in photography, there was a couple of questions uh, asked when I put up, I was doing this video around uh, what's in my camera bag so stuff like this if that's your if that's your vibe your your groove then maybe that's something we can do in the future the gear in here for podcast and photography etc so yeah the bag Sirixon master's edition 2023 tour staff bag so yeah the main reason i got it is it fits all the gear i burst a couple of the long pockets on staff bags and uh, getting that big monster lens in and out but the key for me, I have a couple of bags. I have this staff bag. I also have a Jones bag. Is I have these valuables pouches. So they're little bags like this. So strings, I have four or five of them. I generally have a mountain of tees in each one. Uh, tees, ball markers, couple of pencils, uh, so that I'm not handballing the trinkets and the ball markers and the pitch marker pairs from one bag to another. Uh, I just need to grab the pouch and move it. But I generally have a pouch in each bag now anyway. So instead of reaching down into a massive bag to find a T, just grab the bag. I also have this slightly bigger one. It's from DTB Golf, um, based in Ireland. And it's just a nice little bag to carry down to the chipping green or the putting green rather than bringing the whole trolley down, the whole bag down. And I generally have three seed golf balls. I will get onto balls in a minute. Generally bring three golf balls from seed three golf balls that are tp5x i played the picks um, and i played a little short game game with myself player a versus player b stuff really really handy for down the short game area getting the eye in right before a round the balls i play seed sdo2s the pro soft golf ball 50 percent of my rounds are casual and 50% of my rounds were with a scorecard this year. And I used the Seed. I used the Seed SD ProSoft golf ball. Uh, it has my logo on it there as well. The lovely folks in Seed. Uh, started me out with those. I love them. They really hold up really, really well in the wind. I play 99% of the time on Lynx golf courses. And even against the premium golf ball manufacturers, um, they perform really, really well. There was one time this year I didn't have them in the bag. It's when I generally choose to go for the TaylorMade TP5X with the picks, which is Ricky Fowler helped with that design actually. I played for the club championships. It wasn't as windy and I just didn't really trust my putting stroke at the time. So I just wanted to make sure I was rolling really well. Um, but actually for round two, I went back to the seat and shot a better score. Gloves. I like a soft glove and um, premium leather, but then I also don't have the money for premium gear. So when we come to gloves, I actually DB Golf are really, really good. And they do packs of three. They might even go to packs of six. I'll put the links in the show notes below. Really, really good. Fit really well. Uh, I love the color scheme on this one uh, because it's kind of my brand colors. My brand colors, who am I? It is a lovely fitting glove. Snug like a glove. Like a glove. Really, really snug. Really, really comfortable. Wears really, really well. On to the meat and potatoes of the golf bag. The best investment, the best thing I added to my golf bag this year was the Stack Swing Speed Training System. Um, I'm using it, this will go out between Christmas and New Year's this video. I'm using this six weeks, no, five weeks. And I've increased my swings by seven miles an hour. Seven miles an hour, that's over 20 yards. Yeah, there will be a video on Stack coming soon comment below if you want a video about stack what it's all about the prices the costs i believe there's a pro in ireland now reselling them for them as well officially next thing that i really like in the golf bag again is not golf clubs it's hiding underneath this u.s amateur alignment stick cover which 
was in Ridgewood in New Jersey last year where I was looking on holidays in the area and got to see Mark Powerplay. These are Bubba Whips. It's from Alex Gaugier, who is Eric Van Ryn's caddy. Met him during the Irish Open. And I said, I do this and he does that. Um, so yeah, they're really, really class. They're handmade in America. I think they're $65. They do go on sale from time to time. It went for the green and white. So thank you, Alex. And absolutely get some alignment sticks. I use them in loads of different ways. Definitely loads of training drills to be had from putting to short game to long game. All alignment is a basic. So if you want a video around how I use alignment sticks, how I use the bubble hoops, let me know. Comment up below. Show me the video. Show me the sticks. We will start at the bottom of the bag clubs wise. I have. I carry four wedges. I play the TaylorMade MG2s. Um, I believe the M. G4s are exquisite, so I may be testing those in the new year. I carry it in 52, 56, and a 60 degree high toe. The high toe is just one of two clubs, not fit uh, or provided by 4 Golf Custom, not NAD, but they do sponsor the podcast. Go to 4 Golf Custom uh, for your golf clubs. Kenny McDonough very kindly donated this to me as a gift, one to one, not from TaylorMade. So there's some lovely green paint fill on that one there and a lovely lovely club um, especially out of the pot bunkers I generally have to play out of I carry pitch wedge through 7 iron they are Mizuno MP18s the player iron they are absolutely exquisite trying to get some focus here and avoid my big head MP18s they're pearls of golf clubs the feel is real absolutely love them I actually went for blades because in the fitting with 4 golf custom the dispersion on the 7 iron um, the bladed clubs was better than the cavity back ones which were the 919 tours so yeah shafts wise we have KBS C taper across the board except for in that sexy high toe version we have a money taper S taper 120 gram shaft otherwise it's C taper um, 110 grams they are not graphite that is just um, a lovely finish there's no steps in these in these shafts and they're lovely even if I do get fit for irons in the future I reckon I'll stay with the same weight I love the feel off them my I have a good idea, or I think I have a good idea, about where the club face is. And they've, they've definitely helped me in the progression of you know, seeking neutrality in my golf swing. Really, really stable. So love the MP18s. Four iron through six iron is the Mizuno 919 Tour. Four iron through six iron is the Mizuno 919 Tours. Actually only started hitting the 919 Tours, the four and five iron, really well kind of the last four or five months of this year. I think I need a little bit more help up in the upper region. So it'll be really interesting fitting in January after whatever I'm going to get I might go for a little more help in the long irons I might stay blades in the in the shorter clubs believe it or not when it comes to the grips I am golf pride I will be I do like the line ones and I do get two wraps of tape underneath those for these big West of Ireland farmer lovely soft hats I have two cheat sticks in the bag and the hybrid Hiding under the Portrush head cover is definitely one of them. It's circa 2018. It's a Mizuno CLK. It's a 16 degree dialed down to uh, 14 degrees. So I can hit it low. I can shape it. It's really, really good for approaching uh, par fives and even long par fours. It's generally my 225 club, a uh, downwind up to 250. We're talking 30 mile an hour winds, of course. We have a Fujikura speeder shaft at 65 grams or 75 grams. Um, so yeah, you need to be swinging this one to get it going, but I love it. It's the shorter shaft, so it's not quite as long as a three wood. It's an absolute rocket ship. I actually lose, use it loads. I would hit that maybe eight to 10 times a round. Uh, my favorite shot to hit with it is actually bump and runs, little chips around the green. Possibly the most consistent golf club in my bag, um, super high performing, is my three wood. It's a Titleist TS3. Again, circa 2018. So in the club, in the bag, I think the longest uh, in here. The Tensai Aldila Blue Shaft. And I was hitting this so well uh, when I went back for my driver fitting last year. Uh, I look, can we, can we look at Aldila Blue uh, in the driver? But yeah, really, really consistent. My favorite shot to hit with this is actually like a stinger stinger three wood um getting 240 250 uh, out of the old stinger three wood and the big stick the lumber thor's hammer under the golfer's journal head cover is the callaway rogue st not the triple diamond we have the max ls version again it's in an aldi left 65 gram shaft uh, so slightly stiff but it's all about the kick point this is the engine 
of your driver. Really, really love it. We'll be intrigued to see what Paradigm Smoke looks like and feels like in the new year, but I don't see myself changing for 2024. Really, really love this driver. Really, really forgiving. Uh, up there with one of the most forgiving drivers I've tried ever. Um, haven't really hit pin too much, so that's my, my claim on that one. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous golf club. Speaking of gorgeous golf clubs, this is uh, club number two not provided by Four Golf Custom, and it is a Scotty Cameron Triple Black Limited Edition. I think they made 6,000 of these worldwide, so not too limited, but limited enough. Uh, one of only four or five that got to the island of Ireland. Uh, blacked out shaft. So we've got a Scotty Cameron Limited Edition blacked out triple black 9.5 putter. Blacked out shaft, and I have my friends, part of the P2 Army, P2 React Core blacked out grip. Don't make these anymore, but they do have a blacked out version in another in another line. But yeah, they are the weapons, they are the cheat sticks. Um, let me know what clubs you play in the comments below. Let me know what clubs you're looking forward to seeing or trying or testing in 2024. There are two things in my golf bag I thought I'd never have until about three, four years ago. Number one, I actually did not have a range finder until 2017, 2018. Uh, went to my local PGA Pro here in Kildare and it's the Bushnell V5 Tour. No slope on this one. We're not going to get into any trouble. So it's really helped me. I zap bunkers from the tee, tree lines from the tee, carries. It's all about carry for me and my numbers. Uh, really, really helped me. It's definitely saved me two to three shots every round. This isn't a Bushnell advertisement, but it is a second product from Bushnell. This is something I thought I'd never use. Saw them in the magazine, saw them in the reviews, saw them on the various YouTube channels. It's something I thought I'd never use. I got gifted it by um, Irish Golf Digest magazine um, years ago, uh, three years ago, uh, just at the start of COVID. And it is a Bushnell Phantom 2. You can do loads with it. Uh, you can track your scores, front and back of the greens. I literally use it for front, middle and back carries. Uh, like I said, 50% of my golf is casual. I don't really care too much about performance. I often don't even count, believe it or not. I have a vague idea of what I've shot that day. On days like that, when I might have a couple of high nose uh, on the 10 t this one I'm just glancing down. Give me the front of the green. Give me the back of the green. And I'll figure it out from there. They're about nine, between 90 and 110 euro, depending where you go. Go to your local PGA Pro. And they'll definitely give you a better deal than the high street. So yeah, if you need something, a gift, uh, someone's birthday in January, or just a present for yourself, Phantom 2 is the way to go. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about me, about the golf bag, the setup, ask in the comments below. Hit me up on social media, paddytalksgolf.com. Let me know what you think of my setup. Let me know about yours. Until we teal up again soon, I'm Paddy.